In this video, we're going to look at the ambiguous case of the sine rule. The question says in the triangle ABC, AB is equal to 16.2 centimetres, BC is equal to 12.3 centimetres, and angle BAC is equal to 37 degrees. We need to find the two possible sizes of angle ACB. Let's start off with a sketch. So I'm going to start here with A and we'll go up to B. So just labelling this up, let's go ahead and label that up. We can say now that this is A, so that one is A. We've got B just here and we've got a length of 16.2 centimetres. I've got this angle here, BAC. I'm going to put a broken line down the bottom and hopefully you'll realise why shortly. The angle BAC, so C is somewhere along this line, the angle BAC will be 37 degrees. So if I just put this on now, 37 degrees, that is going to be just there. If we've got the angle BAC, the letter in the middle is one where the angle is. If we consider BC is equal to 12.3 centimetres, I could form two different triangles with this. The first one I could form would look something like this, so that could be my 12.3 centimetres, and this would be the point C, or I could take exactly the same length and go in the other direction, which is going to give me BC in this direction. So if we look at this now, what I could do is go ahead and put on here that this is going to be C, or I could put that this is going to be C. So what we end up having then with a quick sketch are two possible different triangles. So if I draw the first one, we're going to have something that looks like this. If I draw the second one, we're going to have a much longer base and then a much bigger angle at the top. So if I go ahead and do that, it will look something like so. So these are two possible configurations of the triangle. If I put the information on, what we've got here is the 37 degree angle. We've got the 37 degree angle here. This is going to be the 16.2. This is going to be the 16.2. We've got this length right here. Remember, BC is going to be 12.3. We've got 12.3 just here. And we're looking to find now the angle ACB. So if I put on that this is A, this is B, and this is C, we want this angle just here. So this one is A. This one is C, this one is B. We want this angle just here. So you can see quite clearly it's going to give us either this angle or it's going to give us this angle. So what I'm going to do is set up the sine rule. So just putting these values on, I'm going to put now that this is going to be 12.3. What we can do now is say that using the sine rule, and I'm going to label this up theta, the sine of theta over 16.2 will be equal now to the sine of 37 degrees over the 12.3. We've seen this in the sine rule video before. So I can say from here, multiplying it by the 16.2, sine of theta is going to be 16.2 sine of 37 degrees over the 12.3. If we find a value for sine theta, Let's go ahead, 16.2, 16.2 sine of 37 degrees. Do check that you're in degrees mode. Divided by 12.3 is going to give us now a value for sine theta. That gives us 0 0.7926 and so on and so forth. So let's write this in. This is going to give us now 0 0.7926 dot, 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 dot. So let's just check that, 7926. What I'm going to do at this stage is just draw the sine curve. If you haven't seen the sine curve before, it looks something like so. We're going to start at zero. We come up to a maximum value of one. We turn round and come down to zero at 180. We come down to negative one at 270 and then back up to zero at 360. This is going to be one. This is going to be zero degrees and this is 180 degrees. What I've got here is a value for sine theta. So this is going to be the graph of y is equal to sine theta, and we have this value that's about 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is somewhere near here, 
So what I'm going to have now are two values. We're going to have one value just here and we will have one the same distance back from 180 degrees. So at this stage, if I take the inverse sign, shift sign of the answer, that is going to give me the acute angle. That's 52.43, so let's write that on. So this is going to be 52.4. If we think that that one will correspond to this triangle just here, so 52.4, that one would be 52.4. Yet if we consider now the same distance by symmetry, this is symmetric about 90 degrees, we can say that the other one is 180 minus the answer, and that gives us 127.6, correct to one decimal place. So we've got now 127.6, and that would be this angle just here. So that would be 127.6, which we could put on here. So 127.6, and both of those now are given correct to one decimal place. So we can see with the ambiguous sine rule case, when we get sine theta, sine theta will give us a number between 0 and 1. We can see by symmetry, if we have 1 theta degrees in, then we'll have the same theta degrees back from 180, which gives rise to two different possible triangles. This is one triangle, this is the other, and we found the two possible sizes of angle ACB.